Thanks, and here, thanks here for the is. reminder again. <laughs> yeah, welcome everybody to, this is July the 4th, LinkedIn Turbochargers. And today we're going to cover uh, the routine of uh, the five key steps you need to do every day with your LinkedIn. Uh, but you can take Saturday and Sunday off. <laughs> I take Saturday and Sunday off. And then hopefully we'll have some time to go through the MailChimp uh, setting up a landing page with, for Martina. So I'm going to log into my LinkedIn. Okay, so I'll stop sharing right now. Yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> Let's do, maybe we'll do your, your uh, landing page and oh. just put it back up there again. And I'm going to, um, in the background, have my link and opened up and ready to go. Okay, so I don't know which one of these is the furthest. Um, maybe I'll look on overview. Yeah, low system resources is showing up again. So I hope I can let me know while my sound is. For me? For all of us. Yours, yours yeah, is breaking up too. Oh, I think this is the one where I'm stuck with this um, this timer because um, it's I had set the timer right, mm -hmm. but um, it didn't show up. The, the dates and hours and minutes didn't show up. Hmm. If you know what I mean, like. Um, So I had a problem with that on this one. And, um, oh, and this one, I was trying to copy the link and I put it on my website and everything, but it looked so strange. So I didn't really know if what I was doing was right. So this one here is what so you copied this off one. And then the other one I have, this here, it says to, um, what did it say? Preview. And then somewhere here, it said, go copy, copy the link to post it on your website. Uh, where did that go now? Well, this is, looks like your form. Yeah. Yeah. But I had, I had an issue there with it. Um, yeah. I remember, did you check, um, uh, on YouTube? No, honestly, I haven't even um, got back to this at all. Mm -hmm. I was just trying to familiarize myself with uh, what each of them were. Mm -hmm. Automation. So this other one must be the one that I'm the furthest ahead with. Yeah. Because You're I think doing great. Here, <laughs> well, I'm trying, but I get I get stalled because uh, there's, I'm stuck with something and I don't know. To go yeah. Further. Um, the best thing, the best thing that I have found to do when I get stuck with groups, I I go and search YouTube. Yeah. Because there's always some somebody has thought to do a video. Excuse me. So uh, I do. I do. Play. Stop. Do. Play. Stop. Do. <laughs> Yeah, so I I don't know where this what happened with this one now. So it's um, you've got quite a list there. Yeah, these are all the people I send it to. Thirty four. I think mm -hmm. two two people asked to be taken off the list. Well, that's okay. That's it happens. happens. Yeah. So, but I don't know. This has gone to now. Um, I, I just don't know right now. <clears throat> so one of the things that I would do is I would click on each one of those on the highway on the left. I would go through each one of those and click everything and read through everything on there so that I would be able to understand it better. Yeah. And it, I know it takes time, but mm -hmm. 
you will feel like you have a, such a, a better handle of what you're doing there. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, so let me fiddle with it again and then maybe, yeah. And maybe then I'll be we'll, ready for next Monday. Yeah. So what we can do is we could set up a special little one-on-one -on -one session if you want. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go into the LinkedIn page now. Okay, thank you for trying and um, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not really much help cuz I use Keep instead of uh, Mailchimp. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Actually, I did watch it, and um, where are my notes? I have notes somewhere. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so the steps for what we need to do every day, five things we need to do every day with LinkedIn. Number one, you invite people to connect with you. And there are several ways that you can do that. And the ones that I like to use the most are that I start with my network. And you just click on my network. You wait for it to download. And you see all these people that it's asked, suggesting you might want to follow. I, I don't mm -hmm. follow them unless they've got over 100,000 connections. Right. So... Yeah, you, you uh, or unless it's somebody that you think is really significant to your business, uh, an upline or something mm -hmm. that you might want to follow. But here's my thought. If I've got XYZ business and I have all the other people in my XYZ business following me, it's going to be really hard for them to get new people, right? You want to get new people. So yeah, yeah. I really hesitate to just willy nilly follow people. So scroll down here and the first ones on mine don't, I don't very often find one that is a network marketer because I like to connect with people that are in a business that's kind of like network marketing. They're either in the crypto business or they're in something like Amway or Longevity or something like that. And so I keep scrolling down and this goes on and on and on. And you can scroll down quite a ways till you find people that you think would be ideal for you to connect with. So none of these people so far look like... Um, people that would be in network marketing and you just read the that little headline that's underneath so i'm going to go on down to some more connect buttons there's some connect mm -hmm. buttons and you see uh there she's a life coach she probably isn't wellness coach well, i think that person when you when they say they're a wellness coach they're usually in a network marketing business so i would click on this one and invite them and I usually do 10, 10 people. This is another wellness coach, that's number two. Oh, I get a sip, do I? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My husband just gave me a sip of his pop. Nice. <laughs> um, then, uh, the, so here, health and wellness coach, that's number three. Uh, Coast Constable Superintendent, I don't think that one would be appropriate for me. So just go through and read 
these little bits of lines, health and wellness, that's number four, I think. Um, here's a, another health health care. Oh, no, I'm not, maybe not. I better not go with that one. Four. Holistic health coach, five. So I've got five there. I'm just going to write it down. So I have my little notepad by my computer mm -hmm. all the time. So when I'm in between meetings, I just sit down and I, I just I have my little uh, notepad and I write down if I've invited a few people to connect with me. The thing is with these connections, you cannot leave a message. So these you just click on them and invite, right? So then number two way of asking people to connect with you is to click on this home button. So you go to home and then you scroll down this highway on the left. I call this a highway on the left until you get to the one that says groups and you click on this little down arrow and do it twice to, so you can get right to the very bottom because when you click on, on the ones at the bottom, what happens is, I'm gonna move that. It's distracting to have that movement on there. So when you get to the bottom of this, um, of these groups, it and you open it up, it automatically moves to the top. And so that way you can keep track of who, what groups you're searching in. So let's just go into this home-based business group. Okay. And then you click, click see all. This see all okay. right here, okay? Do, do not ever click this invite connections button because what'll happen is it will connect to your email and it will keep on inviting people through your email. They're sending them an email oh, message yeah. and it keeps inviting them and inviting them. And if you've got grandchildren or nieces or nephews or brothers and sisters who are not in business and they're getting these messages from LinkedIn, you'll have everybody mad at you. And the reason I know that is because I did it when I first started. Right. <laughs> and I, oh, my <laughs> sons got mad at me because I had LinkedIn sending requests for their daughters who were 13 to connect on LinkedIn, which is too young, right? Because once they get hold of those emails, they don't stop inviting until you actually sign up. And, and I had my aunt who's now 90, she got invited and she was upset with me. So it just do not click that blue invite connections button, okay? <laughs> leave it alone. Okay. <laughs> So we click see all. And then this little box up here is where you can search for members. And I use the alphabet. And, and I, I don't start with A and I don't start with Z. I just pick a, num a letter somewhere in the middle. So maybe we can do O. So let's do O. And then you can start with A. Oh, there's no last names with no A. So then you just take the A away and you put B. O, B. Oh, there's some people with last names that start with O, B. And then you check beside their name if, what level of connection they are from you. This one is a third level connection. So I would click on this message. Oh, I've already sent her an invite to connect because you can see there's, there's uh, the little blue man showing up, right? Mm -hmm. and this text here so i'm not going to send her an invitation this sergio guy let's see if he's got so i've sent him a message as well so he's oh he's a number he's a first level connection huh <laughs> i forgot to check that and there's obina nawasu now this one doesn't have anything beside it every once in a while you'll see one that doesn't have a one or a two or a three so when you click on it, mm -hmm. it's already been and ha had an invitation sent to it. Mm -hmm. So this is probably something new that LinkedIn is starting to try. So that when you send a message to somebody until they respond to you, they don't have any number here. 
so you can invite these people to connect with you. So that's all there were for the OBs. Let's try the OC. And you just work through your connection. We've got seconds and thirds here. They're all seconds and thirds. So click on here. We're going to send, no, nope, we've already sent him a message. There's the little blue man. I've been doing this for a while. Can you tell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so a lot of these have already had invitations. And you just quickly click through them. There aren't very many here. So they've already had invitations. So let's try OD. And there's some seconds and thirds in here. Okay, no firsts. But I, I probably have still sent them a message. <laughs> mm -hmm. So when you come to the blank ones, if you come to a blank one, that hasn't had a message sent to it. In fact, I'm gonna just copy this message. And then that, that's the message you send. Um, um, when I invite Christine. people to connect with me, yeah. Yeah, you say, I am, I, I, I hope. hope you'll accept this invitation to connect. I'd love to be part of your network here on LinkedIn, Christine. And I never address their first name because sometimes what happens is it pops up and the it I, I you can get confused with names of people and get the wrong name on there because I've had that mm -hmm. happen to me. So when I do the first invitation, I just send them this. And I've got five different invitations that I use that I've got set up in my little Word document. And this is one of them. Okay. And so I, you work through this until you get 20 people invited and you can use the same invitation. And then you add your 20 on there, right? Mm -hmm. On your notepad. So that's number two, number one, I should say. And number two of number one, that's the second way that you can invite people. The third way that you can invite people to connect to you is to do a search. And so one of the things I did is I looked up network marketing businesses, the top 100 network marketing businesses. And I printed them all out. I don't know if you can see them here, but I printed mm -hmm. them all out. Yep. And so this is the number three way. And I check them off each time I do a search. So I don't want to search for posts in this group. So let's come out. I'm going to come out to my profile page <clears throat> and go into my network. <coughs> there we go. And hit the search. And you just type in people. And see along here. You want to click on oh. all, don't click on any of them except this one. Click on all filters and see you can click who you want to search. First level connections, second level connections, or third level connections. Well, I just use, click the second and the third level connections. And then I go down to here and I usually search Canada and the United States. And you can mm -hmm. do Alberta, Canada, you can, and you can put in your own search criteria as well. You can add a location. So if you wanted to add Edmonton, Alberta, or something like that, you can. But I go down to the current company and I'll add company. So let's see, I'll go to where I left off last. Um, Hillary's Blinds. There we go. I can click on that. And I'm going to click, we'll do another one. Uh, Manatech, M A N N A T E C H. And we'll just leave it. Here's Manatech Incorporated here. I can click on that. So we've got those companies. And then scroll down. We want to see uh, that they are English speaking. 
I don't speak any other language and I have a really hard time communicating with somebody that doesn't speak English. So I always make mm -hmm. sure I click my language there and then click here, show results. Okay. And so you can go and see so you've got 85 people that you could send an invitation to connect here. But here's the, here's the caveat. All of the people that you invite through a connect button are monitored by LinkedIn. LinkedIn limits us to invite 100 people a week. So that's about right. 12 people a day, right? So we have to be careful that we don't go over our daily limit. Right. So when we're when we're clicking the and that's with the the my network page too. When you're scrolling down and looking for people to connect with that that might be in the type of business you'd want to connect with, right? Mm -hmm. um, as soon as you click those connect buttons that have the word connect in them, then you are um, the algorithms can see you. They see mm -hmm. that you've actually get requested to connect. And so the trick that I've learned is that you go into the groups, like I showed you down the left highway on the mm -hmm. homepage, and then yeah. you can send them a direct message. You can send, I, I used to send like three or 400 messages a day on, on uh, in the groups. And mm -hmm. LinkedIn, their algorithms just see you sending a message. They don't see you inviting people to connect. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't do this very, very much. I only do, it if I'm okay. looking for some specific people in a specific organization, then you can use this. Mm -hmm. So you could do five clicks in the My Network one and click on connect and maybe five in here or six on yeah. each, right? So you can just click on, um, so this person is an executive director at, at Life More Abundant. Looks interesting. So when you click on these connects, then you can add a note, which I, I love. And I can just do my control B and then goes in goes the message and I click send. Mm -hmm. And so you can just go and do this for, five or six people. And I don't click the follow buttons. There's lots of follow buttons that show up. And just hit control V after you've, and, and simple, easy, it takes just a few minutes to do these invitations. So that's yeah. three invitations in less than a minute. Yep. So I'm not, I'm not going to linger here anymore. I'm just going to write down how many invitations I sent. I sent three. So I put plus mm -hmm. three, five plus three. And I didn't find anybody in the groups, but I didn't want to be linger that any longer. Right. But you get That's the idea. Okay. So there are those three I ways do. that you can invite. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's so invite when to they, connect. When they Okay, and then when they respond, then what's the next step? So like, then do you say, I would like to send you a link? Um, like, how do you respond? That's when they okay, connect. So if they, if they accept your connection, then they're going to end up in my mm -hmm. network. So you don't even need to respond to them yet. This is okay. number six, number six. <laughs> So, okay, well, that's what I was thinking. Like, what's the next step? <laughs> yeah, so the next step is you go into my network and you click on connections. And these are, you'll find all the people that have recently connected with you. And mm -hmm. I'll go in, I go, I'll go into open up my form messages and, yeah. uh, and I'll scroll down to one of my favorite messages that I like to use to invite people thank you this is the thank you for connecting so i've got lots of different thank okay. you for connecting messages that i use and i'm trying to find my favorite one here 
should be coming up pretty soon here. There we go. I went past it. It's nice and short. Thanks for connecting with me here on LinkedIn. Oh, it's gone off over onto the next page here. I, we can see it. Okay, great. And so then you just go into your LinkedIn and you click on message and you see, this is one of the guys that I invited to connect without a message. You can always tell because my message doesn't show up there. So I'll just, this is where you see right. their names. Yeah. Oh, it's hi, Kevin. Control V. Thanks for connecting with me here on LinkedIn. Hope this finds you well. By the way, do you look for ways to meet new people and make money? People are always looking for that. I'm surprised. There are people that will say, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. I make... I make you make money, get, generate more customers and team members for your business. If you would be open to learning how to make crazy passive money with your business and finally living life on your own terms, just give me a thumbs up cheering your success, Christine. Mm -hmm. And that goes to the, it's pretty generic. It can go to anybody and see this little, there's a little, um, message that shows up down here in the bottom left corner and it keeps track of how many people you've sent a thank you message to so mm -hmm. i can click on her control v and, oops i forgot to say hi so hi martita and i just click send and this one uh She's had an invitation sent to her, but there's not been a response, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, O-L-U-W-A-K-E-M-I. Boy, what a name. Mm -hmm. Control V. I think this gal, she sounds like she's from Kenya or somewhere like that. And this one, and you just go through until you get to the place where You can see that, that there's been responses to your messages. What's the final sentence on that? Um, uh, okay. It just okay. Give me just give me if you would like to just give me a thumbs up. Yeah, if you would like to be open, if you would be open to learning how to make crazy passive money with your business and finally living life on your own terms, just give me a thumbs up. And that's really easy. If people are interested, they, they're busy. They don't have time to be writing a whole bunch of messages. But if they can just give you a thumbs up, then I've got another message already saved in my form letters, my form messages yeah. on my document that I can yeah. just copy and paste in there. So then this is where we could say, if you're open to learning more about financial literacy, give me a thumbs up. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's perfect. Okay. Okay. And the same with, so here's Ashley. Just do the same message with her. Mm -hmm. They're generic and you're getting permission to share a link. And the reason yes. that, that I teach people to do this, to, to get permission to share links is because there are more and more people being sent to LinkedIn jail and the same with Facebook. They're being sent right. to Facebook jail. You were saying some, that. People, some people haven't been able to get their profiles back because, because they, they were doing really, things they didn't realize were not. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So I'm not okay. going to do any more right now. So that's, that's number two. So we've done number one, invite. Mm -hmm. Number two, yeah. thanks for connecting. And then number three, after you've done that, you want to go through your notifications tab up mm -hmm. here where you see all the notifications yeah. and go through and find the ones that you can con con congratulate right yeah right. so here's congratulate ronnie and so you send congratulations out to these people and you just click <laughs> on message right and you say this says congrats on the new job and i'll say something like way to rock Hearing your success. 
And so then I'll, and I'm fine at Christine. And if you've got a survey, that's why I started teaching people how to use, set up Survey Monkey. Yeah. Because then you you have a link that they that they can click on, and then they when they click on that link, they have to get, give you their email and phone number and name, mm -hmm. and then that can be added to your list, right? Your mailing list and your texting right. list. Okay. And that's that's how you build your list. How do I know that uh, somebody actually looked at the survey? Because if they click on your link, if you put a link in here, so I would put mine, I have some links that I've set up, okay. but I'm not showing you my link right now because I don't want it to be sent out because what will happen is your people will go into my list <laughs> right. if you use right. my link. So that's why you need to go to to yeah. MailChimp and set up your own surveys. Okay, so this right. is where you would send a little survey. Here's a fun survey. Yes, yeah, here's okay. a fun survey for you to try out. Like one of my surveys I have is about oh. uh, birds, personality styles according to birds. And oh, which fun. personality style are you? And it's just fun, right? Another, oh. and, and I've done, I've got them, um, multi-level marketing um, survey on how how much people make in network marketing okay. so it's up to you what kind of a survey you want to set up but if you put those links set those links up on mailchimp then you have a, you can set up a landing page and put your link on there and they have to leave their their name their email and their phone number mm -hmm. Okay. okay, I'm just going to send this one out because mm -hmm. to show you. And so go back into your notifications again after you finish with that one. And you go down and you look and see what other ones. Have that you can send. Sometimes there's birthdays on here. And the same with Facebook. You can do birthdays and, and congratulations on Facebook as well. Okay. So you just scroll down until you see all those. And I, I never, I never click on all of these people. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a group that I'm managing, like my marketing enthusiast right. group. I might, I'll go through and click. After I've sent my congratulations out, I'll go and send, uh, uh, get into my groups that I'm managing because I want to keep on top of those. Yeah. Okay, so that's number three. So number one, invite. Number two, thanks for connecting. Yes. And number three, notifications. Congratulations. Send congratulations. Yeah. So number four, then you go back into my network here with number four. Mm -hmm. And you click on connections. And you scroll okay. down. With, with the gray bar on the far right side here, you scroll down and you want to get down. So this is three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Okay, I don't think that's, it's that far. So this, I write the name down of the last person that I sent, um, Uh, an endorsement to right so mine is sylvia chu so i'm going to look for sylvia there she is see there mm -hmm. and so i would go in and she's the last person i actually sent uh an endorsement to right so you right click so we'll go to the next person above sylvia Oh, while we're here, I'm going to right click on Sylvia and I'll show you if you forget exactly where you were or who the last person was, you can go and check and see if you sent uh, an endorsement. And if there's a check mark in any of these boxes, then you can tell that you've already sent an endorsement out to this person. Okay. You just close out of this window. So we'll go to Vikram. And sometimes these people from India uh, open link in new tab. 
sometimes these people don't have, they don't put their skills down. All this guy did. And I can't see, so you can see, I haven't checked off anything here. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't, he only has two and he hasn't, he's got one endorsement. Oh, he's got three. He's got two endorsements, one endorsement and none for research. I always pick the one that has no endorsements on it. Mm -hmm. And then you click on the messages up here in the corner. And I'll make sure I go into my form document because this is where you can use your surveys again. Go into my form document where it says, Where did I, where did I, come on. Okay, I just endorsed you for. Yeah. And I've got a link in there to one of my surveys, okay? And you copy that. I just copy that and it's just copy paste again. Copy paste. So I'm going yep. to just say, hey, Vikram. Control V. And it's signed at the bottom with thanks, Christine. And that goes away. So I can send that out. Mm -hmm. So number one, you invite. Number two, you thanks for connect. Thank them for connecting. Number three, you, you congratulate through the notifications. Number yep. four, you send endorsements. People love to get endorsements and they'll, they'll respond back to you and say, thanks or done. And uh, means that they've done the survey. And um, then number five, not very many people do this and you can do it on the free. You go into your notifications tab again. And you'll see on here, see all views so you click on this see all views and you go into your where people have viewed your profile and there are people in here that you might want to connect with as well so if you just check them out a little bit but i usually send them a message and i'll say hey kevin thanks thanks for connecting or not connecting, uh, thanks for stopping by. Well, I'm gonna go copy my message. So I have these links connected to all my messages that I use because I'm working on building my mailing list. So thanks for stopping by to visit, There, there's my message. And go back in here. And there you go. So that's thanks for the visit. So five things here. Invite to connect. Thanks for connecting. Congratulate and happy birthdays. Endorsements. And number five is thanks for the visit. Thanks for stopping by. And no. And hardly anybody I see on the on the LinkedIn ever thanks people for stopping by for a visit. I started doing that because I knew I'd make myself stand out from the crowd. <laughs> and none of my coaches for LinkedIn coaches never do that either. And if you're on the free platform, you only see maybe three to five of, of the people that have recently viewed your profile at a time. So if you go in there a couple of times a day and just quickly check and see if there's some new people in there, it's not a big deal. Any questions? Um, no, but it sounds like um, this would be part of your job description. This is what you do Monday to Friday. <laughs> Part of it, yeah. 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 
And so people wonder why they aren't getting business and why they're not Mm -hmm. getting action on their social media. It's because they're not doing those five steps. Yeah. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. So then you you don't need to invite more than 25 people a day. Yeah. Couldn't even keep up with that many. (laughs) Yeah. You know, so even if you just start with inviting 10 a day, at least you're inviting some people, right? Mm-hmm. and it starts the conversation yeah and so then number six just, yeah that's when because okay. you, you then you have your their email address i guess right is this yeah. being helpful for you too martina yes very much or am, so. I, or am i taking up the time that you want no, no 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 this is okay. I, I took i took some notes and um um, I'm, I'm learning. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I thought I wasn't going to be doing this till I retired another year and a half, but I'm ready to start now. So I'm learning and getting ready. So no, no. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So here you see, don't, these don't, are the people uh, that I've recently invited. Mm-hmm. I've recently invited these people. And so these are all with the blue dots are people that have responded to me. Wow. Mm. So this guy, he just says, that's nice. Well, what am I going to say to him? Uh, and that's when I started in May of this year. Okay, so I've got a conversation going with him. I've got a conversation going with her. So I will respond to these two people. Don't respond to these people. If they just say thanks, or that's nice, or it, there's probably not going to go anywhere anyway. Mm-hmm. And so you have to be a little bit Judicious, is that a good word to use? (laughs) And so if they've got, see, here's the guy just saying, thanks. This guy says, okay, we'll do. Well, I might check him out, right? Yep. This one just gives me a smile. I'm like, okay, what do I, do I respond to him? Well, there's two responses. It's four here, three here, seven Mm -hmm. here. So that means that, I've had a fair conversation going on with these people. So I need to check those out, right? And so this one, this guy, he's starting a really nice conversation here. He said, hi, Christine, thanks for sharing. Have a better than something day, probably. So I'd probably at least open it up and see what all he has to say. And this guy, we've got several things. He's, He's one of my downline. So some of these people that have conversations going are people that are, are in my downline that I'm doing business with. Okay. What does that even mean in your downline? Network marketing. If you're in network marketing, uh, like I've got several different network marketing businesses that I'm part of. And one of them is send out cards. One of them is 5 billion sales. One of them is tapestry, 5 billion sales and tapestry. I started those or joined those because you get paid for using the internet and you get paid for walking around with your cell phone on because they are data collectors and you get paid for your data and they don't, they don't want to know who you are. They just want to see that there's an entity. Your phone is an entity by itself. It's not attached to your name. It has a a separate uh, tracking entity to it. Mm -hmm. And so you don't get, they don't steal any personal information, in other words. And I get paid every month for just walking around with my phone. And I get paid every month for using the internet. And it's not a lot, but I did that specifically because I've met so many people on LinkedIn who are from Africa or India or Sri Lanka. And they're so, they, they, I was talking to a gal from Kenya who said the average income is $30, $30 to $1,000 a month in Kenya. Mm-hmm. So I thought, you know what, when I was, when I saw these uh, programs, I'm going to invite some of these people to join. So my tapestry, the one that I get paid for walking around with my phone, um, I've got 600 people on my team. <laughs> A lot of those people are people from other countries. That's amazing. Yeah. 
So are there any other questions? So then, yeah, from there, I guess when you're when you're talking with them and stuff like that, then that's when you can say, hey, um, emailing them a link or whatever it is that because you're in conversation with them. Yeah, if you're in conversation with them, I always ask them to share a little bit about what they do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and I'm interested in them first. And, and yeah. what I've noticed all the people online, a lot of them, will, they, they just blast you with links and to sell their stuff. And right. so then, they're, it's getting the relationships. Yeah, um, building the relationships we, we need and want for business is really important. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cause that's uh, you're you're very correct there. It's uh, once you're in conversation with them, that's when you have to be careful that you don't. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, like you said, blast them. Yeah. Throw up all over them. That's right. That's basically <laughs> they feel like they're being slapped in the face when they get pitched at. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly true, yeah. hey? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So well, I, I hear, I hear awesome. what you're, I hear what you're saying there, and because uh, sometimes people talk to me and they want something from me right away, and I'm like, yeah. what? You know? Mm -hmm. yeah. So but I like I always, you, yeah. I always ask them to tell me a bit, bit about themselves. And, and, you know, get them going on if they're starting to open up a conversation and always be interested in what they're doing, no matter what it is. I'm, I've, I've got a couple of things going, a couple of different crypto platforms uh, and Forex and, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll listen to anybody and find out information about what they're doing. And they start asking me then questions about what I'm doing. So, oh, so tell me what you're doing, you know? It's like you go to a, a physical sit down to breakfast networking meeting. This is a big networking room and we're finding people right. who are sitting off in a corner all by themselves and trying to get a conversation going with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, if there aren't any sense. more questions, if there aren't any more questions, I'll wrap up the meeting for today. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Thank awesome, you. Awesome. Thank you very much. You're nice welcome. Glad you I joined. <laughs> yeah, nice okay. to see you too, Jacqueline. Yeah. All Bye, right. Christine. Bye, Christine. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.